Hello everyone again. Here I am, Flor Mayuano. In this story, it's about, I went back to school, in my high school. I went back to UB, University of Visayas, but it's Goliath. That's just a, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> um... It's part of UB. So, um, I went back to school. But before I went back to school, I went to work also. Because my money is not enough, of course. It's only for tuition fee. There's no, there's no payment for, or monthly payment or whatever it was. And, um, when I went to work, I went to work in Luhun factory which is rattan factory so me and my mom my mom moved to luhun and so i was working with my mom also so she teaches me how to how to do uh, cleaning the um the the rattan chairs and then after that every time that i get paid so i pay i pay my school because the school is, uh, the Gullias High School, it's public. I mean, public. It's private. So I have to pay for my bill. So I work so hard my butt. <laughs> Just to pay for my school. So I did it. I paid for my school. And my own, my own work. My own money. I work in the daytime. And I go to school at night time. So that's how I go, and um, from my house, the walk towards the to work, and uh, back to the house. That's like ten miles every day. Uh, I don't know, something like that. So, and then after that, I go clean up myself, go back to the area where next to my work it's a school. So I go back over there. I go uh, walk towards the uh, the cemetery around. It's a shortcut. But I can't go there after after school because the school finished at 9.30. So I can't go to the cemetery. <laughs> so I have to go walk into the uh, the front of the highway because uh, because it's easier and, and safer than the, uh, the than the cemetery area. And then sometimes when my my cousin or my relatives found me walking on the uh, on the road, and he's a jeepney driver, si Manoy Imi. So he'll pick me up and take me to the area where where I where I go home to Bilia. I mean to Bulacao. I'm going home to Kabangkalan, Kabangkalan Dos or whatever you call it, Peace Valley. So ngayon. When I'm when I'm going to school and I mean going to work, go to school and uh, and going home after that, and at, I get home at ten in the ten at night. So my mom always uh, pick me up in the uh, in the area where I turn to go to the house. So she always waits for me there in Manang Anas uh, Manang Anas store. Um, she is my she's my care of uh, old lady but she's dead now but anyway so that's my care of lady uh, my mom uh, uh, stay there and, and wait for me so one day when I um, when I'm when I went to school I did not know somebody was uh, waiting for me the I guess they were they're going to rape me or something like that I, but I, for some reason, there's always behind me that always tells me, my guardian angel, I guess, telling me to go back, go, follow them, because that night, my mother did not, did not pick me up. So I was all by myself. It's just, there's an angel telling me to go, follow them. When they turn to that corner in that fence right there, they won't see you anymore. So go back 
to the other way and go to the other way to go home. So that's what I did. But the next day, I found out that my neighbor went that way where I supposed to go. That there was somebody was waiting for me. My neighbor got got uh, touched. The those guys touched her and uh, didn't rape her, but touched her. So there was four guys I think that were waiting for girls that to pass by in that area. So when I said, "Oh, thank God for my guardian angel that told me." Not to go that way, go the, the other way. So, I always got lucky when I was back in the Philippines. Somebody's always watching over me. I didn't realize that. You don't understand it when you are young. You, you don't know, you know. But anyway, later on when I was working, my mom, to, my mom took us to... Her cousin in Daipuding, and that was the first time that I met all my my cousins. Then her their mom is my mom's cousin, so their their kids are also my cousin. And I met Dong Joy, Josephine, Dai Dayin, Jim Boy, um, uh, Jasmine, and uh, the youngest one is Ray. I I think it was Ray. I forgot but they were all nice and and their mom cooks a uh, um uh, what do you call this cassava cake i forgot to ask her how to cook the cassava cake but i know how to cook cassava cake now anyway but they become so close to me dong joy is always always my best friend and he always take care of me everywhere i go and he's always go with me and I even, when I get lost, I, I end up into the dro their doorstep where they were working in Mandawi. And they told me to go home and uh, take care of yourself when you're going home. I was like, duh. I was, walk I was so angry, I guess. I was so upset on something with, my mo with mother. And then that's why I left. I don't like people bitching on me. So I, I do not like to listen to it because I grew up with aunties that's bitching on me. That's not nice to me. And... Uh, they always makes me cry and whatever. So I, I didn't want to listen to what mother was saying. But I, I think she was, to me, was wrong what she was saying, what it was, whatever it was. And so I did not know. But anyway, they become my best friend. They become my buddy. So my my mother's other cousin, it's like telling telling my mom, I think me and, uh, and Joy has a relationship. Oh, we have a relationship like we are best friends were best buddy like I am his younger sister they took care of me so that's why I said we're not boyfriend girlfriend we're just best friend because we're cousin so they didn't like that that we were so close and Dong Jo is always there to uh, save me when there's something that is going on at school so anyway he, he was my best buddy this family is is my best buddies they really they really took care of me every time i go to their house they feed me and and, and really really take care of me so i love this family and until now dong joy is still my buddy but even though i'm i'm here but he's over there once in a while every time when i'm going home i saw him and then we talk and they go to what we seen for a couple of times now and that's that's good so i liked it and when i'm getting in trouble at school he's always he's always there he's always saving me or whatever it is and well anybody anyway guys it's time for me to go again <laughs> thank you for listening to me oh my teeth is not good anymore uh, i have to, i have to wait to have it fixed because it's separating it's moving i think my bone is not good now now i'm getting sick i guess oh well, not really but this is ugly and i cannot eat the the foods that i like to eat especially the hard food that i like to eat i like hard foods 
I like the chew on the the uh, the uh, the bones. <laughs> Those uh, the legs, fit legs. But anyway, thank you. Please subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you, thank you guys for listening. I appreciated it. I love you guys. Thank you.